Hi people, my name is Priscilla Nyairia. I do fruit farming. Let me just call it it's integrated farming because I do apples, wambugu apples, I do dragon fruit, I do persimmon, I do a lot of fruits, you know. Yeah, and today I am here to explain about the factors to consider when doing wambugu apple farming as your side hustle or as an investment and why do i what do i mean by factors to consider i mean those are the key things you should you should put in mind when you think of wambugu apples i have about five factors that you need to put in mind before thinking of investing in this plant and a plant is this plant is very interesting it's a plant that is not hectic, the plant that you will interact with as it grows. Now, going direct to my main point or to the main agenda, I will start with factor number one. This factor, I'm talking about land. Sorry. I'm talking about land. What do I mean by land? I mean land ownership. Because you can never go for a product and yet you don't know the place where you are going to plant it or where you are going to invest in it. Now I'm talking of land ownership. Some of you ask whether you can invest in this land in a rental or a lease land. Okay, I say yes and no. Both yes and no are the answers. But now explaining about the bo both of the answers, I mean now let's say you, you are Leasing that land for for about 10 years. That one is good. It's a good deal because the plant will have already given you whatever you had. You have spent on it and it will have bought you your own. Are we together? But if it's for less than 5 years, it is the way. Are we together? Yes. If it is more than 5 years, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, you can invest in it. Make sure you have a, a, docu a written document in your lawyer, in, a, in the office of lands, and you have a lawyer talking about it. Because now our plant is $10. Can you imagine investing in like five acres? And every acre goes for 800 plants, depending on the spacing. So you can imagine having planted 8,000 invested in eight thousand dollars per acre and then just somebody somebody just comes and tells you that you are in the wrong position remember this is a plant you have invested your time there you have invested your resources there and even your emotions you will be shocked isn't it so consider land ownership as factor number one and this is the main factor land ownership now i go to Factor number two. Factor number two is source of water. Or do you have a reliable source of water? Yes or no? You need to have a reliable source of water. If your place doesn't receive plenty of rainfall or reliable rainfall, you know in some places in this world receive so rainfall that you can depend on. But if you're in some places, if you are in places like here, we are in semi-arid area. We are in the east. We are along the equator and the place we receive a lot of sun solar here so consider water where are you get, getting your water from how will you will your plant be fed when it comes to water how where will it getting be getting the water like for us here we are using button drip irrigation now when i talk of button drip irrigation this is what i'm using i don't know whether i will i will show you later I will show you later on the button drip irrigation and we have source water and we harvest it in our dams so consider as water as your other major factor now factor number three of which is i mean is the main it's the overall factor because i'm talking of my factor number three is the seedling itself now what do i mean by seedling 
Are you having the real wambugu apple seed? Are you getting the wambugu apple itself? Because you might be surprised you seeing that you are farming wambugu apple. So you have another plant. Maybe you have a loquat in your farm and you are claiming and very proud talking of I'm a wambugu apple farm. And to be surprised, you don't have wambugu apple plant in your farm. So make sure you are getting the real what is the best word to use the exact from the real people remember wambugu apple is a family product if you're getting it from somebody who is not of wambugu family then you are wrong and let me just tell you this it's better you get a seedling from somebody who is doing that farming because if you get it by the roadside i'm very sure that is not the wambugu apple you know yeah all our nurseries are in like kipia like mine it is here in like kipia south immense gobit my farm is one wonderful heaven farm are we together yes that's the name of my farm wonderful heaven farm. make sure you get seedling from the right personnel because we are discussing about the wambugu apple what if you don't have the wambugu apple itself in your farm you have something else then you're out of the topic are we together welcome to buy the right seedlings don't go by the load side and buy i don't know my my client my my my, my surprise selling him it at five dollars oh that is not the, the real one the real one is selling at ten dollars that is one thousand kenya shillings are we together yeah thank you for getting that that was my factor number three and now my factor number four, I'm going to skills. Actually, in all my videos, we will be discussing about skills. Skills or the know-how to plant and take care of this plant. Because skills is the factor that you can never exhaust in a single video, not to not even a thousand videos. Because education is something that grows. The same way you plant a, a, the seedling today and tomorrow it will be a productive plant, they say it's, it's the same way that you are the skills grows are we in the same page so skills it's something that you can never ignore when it comes to this and some of you have planted but you didn't have the skills or the know-how to take care of this plant so if you don't have the skills and you don't have the know-how you will mess up completely and the, the major skills they are this one that we are dealing with but i will have more videos explaining on the skills to do this and among others plants that I do what I do to increase branches what I do to um, to break the dormancy a lot of you have planted and you are you're fighting the dormancy your plant and just the way you planted it a year ago so I will explain to you how and what you will do to increase the branches to increase production and to make your plant your your, your fruit much bigger organically are we together so, so skills is what i will be doing in my videos are we in the same page thank you it is skills so if i may just explain roughly let me highlight on the on the on the factor in skills it's one thing you need to do is you need to dig a hole two feet depth hole length with it's a cube of you might plant with manure or you might you might decide to plant with um, topsoil then afterwards after planting i will explain this one in a, another video after planting you need vegetative foliar and you need a fungicide simply that then you need manure and water afterwards as it continues in the next or in other videos please tune in i will explain about those ones in about how to plant and take care from day one to seven to nine months what should should happen because this is the base of your of your farming what should happen what should you do so that your plant can produce at those nine months i think produce like 10 kgs to 20 kgs that's what i'll be explaining in my videos you know what i do as priscilla are we together now the other factor i'm talking about is factor 
number is it five yes factor number five is factor number five is security what do you mean by security security in terms of where you are planting it security in terms of how will your fruit be you know now you will secure your fruit from birds secure your fruits from unauthorized person and those are thieves theft and secure your, your fruit from any mishandling you know you might just be planting it somewhere that is not wise enough in a way that if you plant and some sheep or goats comes across they will eat your plant that's security you need to be very secure on where are you planting it water is also security make sure that your plant is secured so well it's watered so well that's also securing your plant your, your plant in terms of water usage and all that then when you talk security make sure you fence so nicely if i may show you on my farm i have those those plants there i am i use live fence as my fencing in this land but you have other, other lands that we are using some other plastic mesh you know we have others that we are using opaque way of securing our plant remember people steal because they are seeing it you can never steal something that you have never seen it we together so putting your plant away from transparency it's the best and the most secure way are we in the same page okay now talking of security what should people do to control birds this is what i do organic i use this i use these um, christmas decors how do they work they work with the rule of reflection yeah the rule of the the law of reflection so when this sunlight hits here it's a shiny object so it will bounce back this light and when you look at it even me i can see some disturbance you can't look at it directly the same way my birds will be disturbed and they will not come to eat this new leaf or this these fruits that are coming up any soon you know yeah my birds will not come to eat this because they are already disturbed from afar are we together that's what i meant by this one you might decide to put a bird net but net actually is a hundred percent way of securing your plant or your fruits we are now in the fruits your fruit from being attacked by the birds you know some of you are in the areas whereby you have monkeys or so on if you are in area where you have monkeys what you need to do you need to fence with something that will disturb them like thornish you know you can use a mesh that is it has a thorn so it will obviously be disturbed are we together those are the some of the organic way you can scare away those animals that is its factor to do with security now the other factor that you should not worry about is market market will have it on sale actually for now we are selling the fruit at four dollars packaging so market is here locally for those in the country internationally for those who who are doing it outside the country and i tell you this is something that you should not worry about the same way new kids are being born today that is how your market is growing each day each each day in day out i will give that as an example now there we have kids that are being born the population is increasing as we as they uh, we go on the same way our market is growing like we, have, we shouldn't worry about market that is our docket we sell to your uh, seedling and after you 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 are now it's now fruiting come back to us tell us now you, my fruits my plant is fruiting come for your fruits the fruits seedlings and fruits are ours and then we give you money because you gave us money during seedling now during fruiting or market we will give you back your money are we together how good is that deal how good is that deal it is very very good okay thank you those are the factors that i had during in my presentation actually i know you have learned something i know at least now 
you know some of you have land they have water what are you waiting for come for skills and the safety those are the two things we will offer you and markets look for security will learn by the way you know and most of the places are very secure when you want to do this because you're doing it in your own land okay thank you very much for watching if you want to order seedlings from me my number is you can whatsapp me you can call me you can text me my number is 0790266190 i'm in kenya so it is plus two five four seven nine zero two double six one nine zero so thank you if you're in kenya come for the seedlings in lakeithia if you're outside the country we can ship them for you and 